or Thousand Oaks. That's where Nick is. Hi, Nick. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Yes, sir. Thanks for hanging on. No problem. I'm hoping you can help me. I'm trying to help out a brother-in-law. He's got a Samsung Smart TV on which he'd like to mirror um, uh, either a, a tablet or a notebook computer. Sure. So um, depending on the Samsung Smart TV, I have one too. I'm pretty sure all of them support something called DLNA. And okay. Samsung probably has their own name, you know, Samsung Smart View or something yes, like that. He does, he does have Smart View. Yeah, they always have some goofy name. <laughs> um, so the idea is, uh, in a, uh, Apple kind of co-opted this. If you have a Macintosh or an iOS device, you can use what they call AirPlay and, and AirPlay to an Apple TV device. But uh, Samsung calls it Samsung Link. It's essentially the same technology. It's based on DLNA. Um, or, apparently, sometimes they call it All Share. <laughs> all Share. So, um, uh, well, I know he has Smart View, and I'm wondering what the better. First of all, he. I'm wondering, can he use that TV directly for uh, internet browsing, or does he need the... Uh... Well, uh, Samsung, I th in most of their smart TVs, does have a browser. It's a terrible browser. Yes, that's what my experience yeah, is. Yeah, it's a terrible browser. So if you can get all share working, uh, then or you would um, be able to have your laptop and be using it to surf on your big screen. And then you'd have a good browser... There are, you know, there. it's not perfect. I mean, um, you're doing it via Wi-Fi. Right. It's not, sometimes there's dropout, sometimes there's lag. Um, Apple really did a good job. They took DLNA. DLNA is the underlying technology. Mm -hmm. And they took DLNA and they added some stuff and they branded it AirPlay and it works quite well. But it's still around and, you know, uh, Windows boxes call it Miracast, M I R A cast uh samsung probably supports that as well uh so the trick is probably to google his tv model mm -hmm. and dlna or miracast does he have a windows what does he want to stream to it with uh that that is the question he's looking at either a, a notebook computer or a tablet and i'm thinking a tablet might be better for him he's not very tech savvy so Samsung, here's another name they have for it, screen mirroring. So, <laughs> so um, that only be video and no audio? Um, no, it should be audio as well. Okay. But it depends on the model. So uh, what you really need to do is Google that model that he has. Mm-hmm. And then Google it with, I would say, Google it with either, if he's going to get a Windows device, the word Mira, M-I-R-A, cast, that's all one word, okay. uh, or the generic term, which is D-L-N-A. So um, the other way he could do it, if, if, it, if you find the Samsung stuff, because I'll be honest, I, I'm underwhelmed by Samsung's software on their smart TVs. If you find it's not reliable or, or working well, mm -hmm. you could always go out and get a $35 Google Chromecast. It's a little, it looks like a USB key that plugs into the right. HDMI port on the TV. Then you'll use Chromecast on a phone, a laptop. If you're going to do it on a laptop, you'll have to use the Chrome browser and the same thing. And it works, I think it works a little bit better. I use Chromecast all the time. For instance, if you have a, a smartphone that has Netflix on it or a variety of other things, uh, you can start the movie in Netflix on your phone and say, cast it to my TV, and then you're watching it on your TV, audio, video, high def, everything. 